What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs, absolute signs, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Uh, love you guys so much. Um, Thanks for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, the link's in the description box below. Readings will only be open for another four or five days. Just let everybody know. Then I will open them up for periodic spurts. Um, it's 3.10 p.m., 12.5.22. I hope everybody's doing well. I do. Okay, so I received the channeling. Um, so I'm going to put it out. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I heard somebody, okay, so somebody's toxic family is doing damage control. I heard they're doing some serious, attempting, I heard they're attempting to do some serious damage control. Um, however, they have told so many lies on you. I heard for years, um, it's not working. I heard it will continue not to work because they have told so many lies, particularly on you in the past. How that resonates and applies. Um, how that resonate? So, somebody's toxic family. Obviously, they're not good for you. Obviously, um, they're. I wonder if it's defamation of character. I didn't hear that it was, but I wonder if it is. Um, I mean, lies are lies, but when you defame somebody's professional reputation and career, that rolls into defamation of character, and that's just the truth. So, I don't know. I didn't hear it was defamation of character, but for some, I feel it could be. But my point is. They have told so, whether it was defamation of character or not, they have told so many freaking lies on you in the past, whether it's professional related or not, that they're attempting to do damage control right now. Attempting, but it's not working because they've told so many lies on you in the past. So whatever the lies are, you know, how that resonates and applies, that, that can range a million different ways, okay? But it serves their uh, toxic asses right, uh, right. And that's just the truth. It does. One of these families made a lot and received a lot of money off you in the past illegally. Through many series of chain events, they're about to have to pay it back. Okay, so for one uh, one of the toxic families, they made a shit ton of money off of one of you guys. I think there, feel there's at least two of you in here. You plug in and res how it resonates. One of you guys, they made a shit ton of money off your back criminally and illegally in the past. They made the money off your back in the past, but it was some kind of criminal, illegal way they made it off of you, if that makes sense. I feel like mafia or, or I don't know. I didn't hear how. Mafia or betting or I don't know. I don't know. I don't specialize in criminal. But however that resonates, for one of you guys, they did one they didn't. One, they made a lot of money because of you in the past, but it was some kind of criminal dealings or dealings. But I heard through many series of chain events, they're about to have forced to be paid to pay about. So that's for one of you. You plug in and help resonate. Yeah, your uh, your family's false. They're false. Number eight could be a very significant number in one's life. Number eight could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number eight, they're false. And they are concerned. Number 33 could be a very significant number as well. Number 33. They're false and they are concerned. And a water sign. <clears throat> Fraud doppelganger that was connected to this toxic family. Strictly for money and clout. They're about to get caught in the crosshairs too. And a water sign that was connected to this toxic, your toxic family member, sir. I feel you're estranged from them. You are estranged from them. Okay, so you're estranged from them. But there was a water sign that was connected to your toxic family. You're estranged from your toxic family. But a water sign was strategically connected to your family for clout and um, clout and fame and um, and I heard they're a fraud, too, and they're a fraud. So they might have frauded you, ma'am, or sir, or somebody else. But how that resonate? They were strategically, like, connected to them 
to get something, whether it was clout, fame, money, and there was some kind of fraud going on. I feel for some they could have frauded you. But however that resonates, they're about to get caught in the crosshairs of this damage control or attempted damage control or having to pay the money back via criminal means if that situation applies. How that resonates and applies. The water signs a false person. I think they're concerned or they're about to be concerned uh, because they're about to get caught in the crosshairs of this hot mess express too. Um, and I don't think they wanted to be. They most certainly do not want to be. They most certainly do not want to be. They're worried about their public re reputation. They're worried about their public reputation. Okay. The water sign doesn't want to be because they're worried about their public reputation. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Mass or Fem, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They have Cancer Pisces Scorpio and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, Jupiter, Taurus. But I heard they're worried about their public reputation. Well, they shouldn't have done it specifically for clout, fame, or some kind of fraudulent activity. And there's something to do with money in here, too. So, I mean, just saying, just saying. But that's the choice that water sign decided to make. So, it sounds like since they made that choice free willingly, now they're going to get caught in the crosshairs because they're a false person. And, they're con and the concern in this aspect, I feel, is they're, I heard they they were in it for clout and fame in the past. So I think it benefited them to be connected to this family. But now it don't. Because I think people know they're a criminal family. Or about to learn it. But how that resonates, now they're concerned about their public reputation. Because they don't want to be known as a criminal. But yet, they were okay with it back, in, back when they were popular, basically. Wow talking about flakiness this water sign is the flakiest of the fucking flakes and that's just the truth have some truth about yourself have some loyalty and some respect about yourself just saying just saying i heard this person is a doppelganger so i think they've either doppelganged somebody or they look like somebody else um they either recreated themselves to look like somebody or they naturally look like somebody but they definitely look like somebody else mask on a fit Wow. <laughs> but now they're concerned about their public reputation because they are false ass, basically. But they had no qualms being connected to this family in the past. None at all. Nay, 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 nay. But now, oh, God forbid. Oh, God forbid. But they're probably caught in the crosshairs. It could be uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter charts. Whoever this person is and how they resonate in a file, okay? And um, I heard they're about to be caught in the crosshairs. You're estranged from your to your toxic family, sir, ma'am. Toxic family is trying very, very hard to do damage control. It's it's going to continue to backfire in ways they would have never expected. It's going to continue to backfire in ways they would have never expected. So the damage control they're attempting to do is about to, as already backfired, will continue to backfire in ways they would have never expected. And there's a water sign, masculine or feminine. I didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine. That once just loved to be connected to this little family, but now it doesn't benefit them because they do things strictly to benefit themselves, which everybody should want. Don't get me wrong. You should always do self-care to do make strategic moves to benefit yourself. Yes, but this person, I heard strategically did it for clout, fame, and status and money and some kind of fraud purposes. That's not what you should do. You should make strategic moves in your life to place you in areas for opportunities for growth and flourishment and nurturing of yourself and your career and your profession and self-care of you and your children if you have them to align you and the ones you care about to grow and flourish in life not to strategically align yourself with somebody for fraudulent purposes and for a clout and fame now, if you happen to gain clout and fame because you've done something amazing in the universe for from aligning yourself in good th things, that's one thing. But this person, I feel, is like an energy succubus. They're, they're dark arts, and it is backfired. It will continue to backfire. Okay, I heard this water sign's dark arts. It will backfire. It's already backfired. It will continue to backfire. So they are definitely dark arts energy. But whoever you are, I don't feel you are. You are definite light side. You're definitely light side. You're definitely light side. But yeah, so there's a difference is what I'm saying. There's a there's a there's a difference. You should always strategically align yourself with the best opportunity or opportunities that you feel is good for you. 
and your situation or your child or your children and your situation, not link up with somebody, link up with a toxic family, which I heard this person knew they were toxic and they had, they had no qualms being linked with the toxicity when it benefited them. But now it doesn't benefit them and it's about to backfire on them and they're afraid it's going to decline their, their public reputation. Well, they should have thought about that when they strategically aligned themselves with a the family they knew was criminal in the past. And there's some kind of fraud involved there. And they knew they were criminal and toxicity. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, yikes. So in this aspect, the water sign was concerned about, oh, we went over that. But the toxic family, they're false too. And they're concerned because they're having to do damage control. So that's how I look at it for the toxic family. Because they're false. And they're trying to do damage control. And I heard basically it's going to backfire. It's going to continue to backfire. Too many lies. Too many lies. That's what I heard. There was too many lies. Or too many lies now. There was either too many lies in the past or there's too many lies now. I heard too many lies. So how that resonates and applies. Serious respect is about to be put on your name in a very positive way. Through many series of chain of events, your name has been drug in the mud for so long. Unnecessarily. Okay, so ma'am, if you resonate over here, the one that's just strategically estranged yourself away from this toxic ass hot mess express, because that's what I'm going to call your family. They're a toxic ass hot mess express, and so is his water sign. That apparently just loves clout fame and had no qualms being connected to their toxic ass when they were popular. But now it doesn't benefit them and it embarrasses them. So just saying, just saying. This person's fake ass too, and that's just true. But um, I heard serious respect is going to be put on your name soon. Um, I heard it wasn't in the past, but through many series of chain of events, some kind of serious respect will be put on your name. Um, so it sounds like you were disrespected unnecessarily in the past, um, but through many series of chain events, some kind of respect will come to you. It's like honor and respect will come to you energy, um, is what I'm feeling, sir, ma'am. I heard you were seriously disrespected in the past, and there was no reason to seriously disrespect you, basically. So, that's good for you, sir, ma'am. And for one... High vibrational being, there's more than one. There are many series of chain of events. You will meet somebody. You will meet somebody. It's going to be a person you would have never expected ever. Unlikely connection. But it will happen. But it won't happen fast. It will happen over time. It's a masculine and femme energy. Confirmation, my kitty. Come on, buddy. Come on. So you plug in how it Okay, so there's at least two of you guys over here in this category. You mean masculine and feminine, I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? But for at least one of you guys in this category that has estranged yourself from your top, this hot mess and all this and blah, blah, blah. I mean, yikes. It's hot mess. Um... I heard you guys will meet somebody. You will meet somebody in a romantical aspect. But I heard it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen instant. It's not like love at first sight. I know some people believe in that. I don't. But some people do. It's not like a love at first sight energy, basically. It is a um, growing and manifesting over time energy, basically. And um, I heard basically um, it will happen. But it will happen slowly over time. I heard you. it's unlike. You, it's like an unlikely match. You never thought the connection would form, basically, but it will form. You never thought it would happen. I think they never thought it would happen, and it's going to happen slowly over time. Masculine and feminine energy. So um, you can be masculine or feminine, and then the other one's a masculine or feminine. But whoa. So it's like that's like an emotional, romantical type thing, but it's going to happen over time slowly. So, um, 
And your family does not want you to move on. And your family does not want you to move on. And I heard your family does not want you to move on. And your family doesn't want you to move on. Well, that's what they, I mean, they don't want you to move on, but they should. They don't control your life. And, that, and they shouldn't control your life. And that's just the truth. We live in America. Freedom. And that's just the truth. Freedom of choices. Rights. Liberties. Freedom of choice. They shouldn't control your life. That creates abuse and stagnation. So, um, they don't want you to move on. Well, I'm sure they don't because um, you benefited them in some shape or fashion in the past. Apparently a lot. But they didn't appreciate you enough to tell you that. So, it's your right to move on, ma'am or sir. And that's just the truth. All right, I'm closing it. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. They hate what you do for work. You're a true healer. They hate what you do for work. You're a true healer. For one of you. For one of you. So for one of you, you're a true healer, and they hate what you do for work. So there's at least two of you. Your toxic family dynamic. They don't want you to move on, and they hate what you do for work. For one, you're a true healer. So you can tr be truly healed in the spiritual realm, or... You can be like a nurse, a counselor, a doctor, a therapist, or something of that nature in the 3D realm, or both, um, like me, how that resonates and applies, okay? But you are a real true healer. Now, there are nurses and doctors and things of that nature that are dark side, and that's just the truth, but you really are the light 3D, whether you're a nurse, doctor, therapist, PT, OT, RT, what have you, what have you, what have you, um, if you are 3D. Or spiritual realm or both. Okay. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day and I'm gonna stay.